Take two, we're trying to keep this under three minutes, image importing super quick. Here we go. Links in the description, which are gonna lead you to a UI uh, script and a couple FBX files. And we're gonna click add new from our assets, 3D model, and then turn off preserve offset pivots. Although that's not really necessary, but I like to do that always. We can then click on our image and we need image underscore BR for the image FBX. And then we'll hit control on our keyboard to select both and then click open. And then we can click import. Now, if you need it to be transparent or cropped out or cut out, we can upload using the other one, masked image. And then that file will need to be named image underscore BA import. All right, save to November 26th as a PNG. Now save, there we go select image underscore br control select image press open and import and now we've got our second image uploading with the same fbx file now while that's uploading we can now drag out our other two images there's our chicken you can see the chicken is cropped out uh, we can click f to focus holding alt on my keyboard and clicking left click i can circle around these we can then click on the waterfall which needs to be rescaled select the and shrink that to the desired aspect ratio then we have our second image just finished. So that's gonna pull out here in just a moment. And that's going to be our flower image, which I'll click F to focus on, very nice. So that's how you can add a bunch of images to your world. Now this only works in custom model import worlds. If you're not in custom model import, you're gonna to go to your scripts dropdown, create a new script, which is gonna be called CUI underscore image. The name of this doesn't actually matter, but I like good naming conventions. We're gonna go click the gear icon and we need to turn on the custom UI API. So we go to API, go to UI, check it, click apply. Then we can hit three dots, open an external editor. You'll need to have VS Code installed. Uh, if you've never installed VS Code before, you'll need to restart your computer after installing for this to work. And then back on the web browser where I sent you guys that in the description, we can hit Control A, Control C to copy and paste. And we'll click over here. Yes, I trust the authors and then control A, control V, control S to save. Okay, back here, it's just finished compiling. We can now pull out a custom UI gizmo. With that selected, we can then select from the drop down the script. And then once we selected the script, it'll have a spot for us to fill out the image. We can then reference an image, which you can add by ticking add texture. Now adding texture can only be done on the desktop editor as you can only add text, which is not texture from the website. We can then reference, you can see this is an image I already uploaded earlier, by dragging and dropping right there. And then when I hit play world and I click F to focus, we can see that we have our chicken on the custom UI and then you can place that around your world. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Time hopefully is less than three minutes. Okay, bonus tidbit here at the end, if you're looking to do this on your own, we're gonna open up Blender, do the classic delete everything on the right, right click, delete hierarchy, add mesh, plane then we go to materials add new and then we're going to select that and name it image and this would be file export as an fbx and name this image and that's how i created the image fbx and if you want it to be masked you name it image underscore masked and then you upload that with image underscore BA rather than BR. And so you export that the same file, export FBX, and then I named that masked image. And that's how you create those on your own. All right, bonus tidbit over. Catch you in the next one. Bye.